All right, everybody, in this video, we're going to be explaining the three wire trim system. So I do have a full video up on YouTube and it's how to build a custom trim till harness for your outboard or whatever. In that video, I'm using a two wire trim system because that's what I had. But a lot of you guys have commented and asked about the three wire trim system. So I drew both of these up. This is a three wire trim system with solenoids. So this would be more for a stern drive. Uh, most stern drives use this. I know all the Mercs use solenoid. Some of the older Volvo stern drives use relay still but most of you guys had questions about this so this setup is the exact same as it was in the video where we built the custom harness the only difference is 87a is unused on the two wire system this would be a ground so when this relay is closed 87a is what it rests on when it's closed so that way one side of the motor is grounded when the other side's powered on a three wire trim system you have a constant ground coming straight from the battery. So how this works is your trim motor is grounded out to the battery directly to it. On your positives, if you follow the reds, we have one wire feeding your switch, so it's a power switch. So in this instance, we're gonna say that the switch is pushed to up. So when you do that, it sends power up this wire to pin 85. So 85 and 86 are your trigger pins. So on the relay, when this has power, this has ground, it closes the relay and bridges the gap between 30 and 87. So let's take a second. We'll follow this red wire coming up, and then this is our up relay. We have 12 volt constant power fed to pin 30. When we give power to 85, it closes the relay and it jumps over to 87. 87 powers up this wire. There's nothing going on on the down wire. So a good way to remember this, if you guys don't know the designations, blue sky up, green grass down. That's always gonna be your down, that's always gonna be your up. Once we let off the button, power stops flowing to this side of the trim motor and it stops moving. If we flipped it to down, we're gonna send power to pin 85 on the down relay and it's gonna, this 86 is constant ground, it's gonna close the relay, 30 is gonna go to 87 and 87 is gonna follow up to this side of the trim motor. And there's nothing going on here when it's off. If 87A was still connected like we did in the video, this side would be grounded when we're not pushing the switch. On the solenoid up here it's kind of easier to see if you've seen a solenoid you know it has two small posts and two big posts we'll follow our power up we're feeding the switch when we hit the up we're taking power down here following it up and putting it to the power side of the trigger the two little small posts on the solenoid the ground is constantly grounded no matter what this is usually for like a neutral safety switch if this was a start solenoid the ground would be controlled by it being in neutral so when it's neutral that's when it gives it ground and then you can start on our two big posts up here you can see one goes straight up to the upside of the trim motor the other goes to the downside and if we follow this here it's going just to constant power 